Greetings and thanks for stopping by. Have you ever wondered how easy or difficult it'd be to grow hibiscus from seed? Well, I did and I'm growing one now. Come join me on the journey. Now, why consider growing hibiscus? It's an absolutely beautiful plant. There are many alleged health benefits and the challenge and satisfaction of saying you grew it yourself from seed. Hibiscus is a member of the mallow family it's native to tropical and subtropical regions. The flower has a tangy, citrusy flavor. The roselle, or leaves, are eaten as a vegetable. The plant is thought to be native to West Africa. Now, when I decided to plant my seeds, I purchased them from All Good Things Organic. My seeds were planted at the end of March, and it took approximately three weeks for germination. Four seeds were planted, one made it. Now, while doing some research on hibiscus, I came across some interesting information. The first thing I found is that many countries lay claim to the beautiful plant. It's the national flower for many countries, including but not limited to Solomon Island, Trinidad, Jamaica, Malaysia, and it's the state flower for Hawaii. Now, when I received the seeds, it came with some special instructions. The seeds must be scarified by rubbing them against 150 grit sandpaper. The seeds felt very hard to touch and they were somewhat like a compressed hardened kidney bean, which they resembled in appearance as well. And the coloration varied from brown to reddish brown. Now, while growing the plant, you can expect it to grow between three and six feet high. This plant is known to grow as tall as 16 feet in its native tropical and subtropical regions. The blooms grow three to five inches in diameter. And obviously this varies depending on species. The plant I purchased is ready to harvest in 120 days and it requires full sun. The alleged health benefits of the plant is that it lowers blood pressure. It's a diuretic, which generally lowers blood pressure. It aids in digestion and it assists detoxification. So anything that gets those kidneys working and acts as a diuretic is usually going to assist in detoxification. It increases lactation, increases energy, and it's an anti-inflammatory. Some additional interesting facts I came across was that this plant is traditionally worn by Tahitian or Hawaiian females. When placed behind the left ear, the lady is either married or otherwise involved but when placed behind the right ear, she is single and available. Some additional facts is that the Greek word origin of hibiscus is marshmallow. And that may explain why it's used by children in the Philippines to make bubbles, which is a national pastime there. This plant is also used in Hindu worship to honor several deities. And there are several hundred species of plants that exist. Now, a few um, pieces of information on the nutritional facts. This plant is loaded with a lot of vitamins and minerals, including vitamin C, potassium, iron, phosphorus, zinc, magnesium, and calcium. And it's also high in some nutritional acids, such as citric acid, malic acid, tartaric acid, and hibiscus acid. And I would venture to guess that this is why the vitamin C content of the plant is so high. Now the plant goes by different names in different parts of the world. It's known as the Rose of Athea and the Rose of Sharon, which, which is a bush light plant. It's also known as Roselle, Jamaica Sorrel, Hibiscus, Zobo Tea in Nigeria, the Rose of Bassini, in French, Sobolu, which is a Ghanaian name, Bisop, which is Burkinese, it's an African country, Abashtaki, which is Arabic or Indian, Sour Tea, and Karkidi. Thanks for visiting and stopping by. Have a great day. And if you liked this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you.